Hey everyone, so uh, today's a big day. We got uh, Todd from ANC Performance coming up to Moncton, New Brunswick. We're heading out to J&D Racing in Capillet to uh, actually tune the Viper. So uh, over the winter there I did uh, the cold air intake and I did the Bellinger headers. And since I've had it out, it's actually ran really shitty. It's running super rich. It's running, uh, it's gone into limp mode once on me going up the highway. And this tune is much needed. So uh, anyways, we're just getting ready to head out. Uh, just grab the keys and go get the battery tender off the Viper get it all ready to go and have to be out there for 9.30 this morning. All right, so uh, everything else is stock on the Viper. I'm hoping for between 575 and 600 at the wheels. Hopefully Todd can work some magic. We dynoed two years ago at 523.6 and uh, Anyways, it'll be interesting, hopefully. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Straighten up. There it is. Yes, everyone give me shit about the Pontiac mat. Used to have a Trans Am. And, uh, anyways, why go out and buy a Dodge mat when uh, you got a perfectly good Pontiac one here? So, again, so what we did this winter, we did the Canon intake. And we did Bellinger pipes. Hard to see, there's a little stamp down in there. And that's uh, Bellinger headers with, we went three inch catless all the way back, did their, their three inch cat back exhaust too. It sounds unreal. It sounds great for the, for, for what I was looking for. Now if, uh, we can just get some extra power out of it and some drivability, I'll be really happy. Oh. We also did the, the ceramic coating on it here this winter so it always stays nice and clean right now if anyone else is looking to have that done I uh, I wholeheartedly believe it works and uh, I got a wicked bead on it every time that I wash it don't have to touch it with a mitt anymore because nothing sticks to it that uh, ceramic pro is unreal but anyways there's the stock headers what a restrictive unit they were. Don't have the cats anymore because, of course, they were seized onto the the Bellinger system after a year. So they got a little bit of abuse, or abused a little bit. Anyways, let's start this up. So, as you can see, we don't have very much mileage on it. 18,947 kilometers. Mileage I have, I don't know how to convert that to miles. Divide that by 1.6. I'll tell you what that is. But anyways, let's get a little, little cold start video. So I did have it out yesterday. I do have a check engine light on. 
pretty sure that that has to do with uh, the O2 sensors. Mainly, maybe the EVAP system, because I've had that issue in the past. But anyways, here's a little cold start. Not quite ready to leave yet for Capelle, but I'm getting there. So, what does everyone think? What are we gonna make for horsepower? I think we'll hit 600. I really hope we hit 600. It'd be awesome. I'd be really happy. And we also got the 2019 Ram Rebel in the dark. <laughs> I'll have to do a review on this truck because it's been unreal as well. Anyways, we'll get a little bit of the drive out and we'll see you guys out in Capilay. here now and uh, we're gearing it up to go on the dyno. We finally got uh, Todd from ANC Performance here. Thank God there's no one around here that can do these so uh, we're we got blessed by him coming up here. So this is awesome. Ready to go here. First run last two years ago we ran at 520.
big number car for the week. We got a big old pack of charger on it.
finally got the the white commemorative Viper off the dyno. He uh, he dynoed out at 823 horsepower, but there's been an error with the the dyno. It's reading 20 mile an hour slower than what the car is reading. So uh, we believe that that 823 should be a little bit higher, maybe closer to the 900 range. So uh, this is going to be his first drive in it since uh, getting it off the dyno. And uh, again, he's with uh, Todd from ANC Performance. So it's going to be interesting to, to see what he thinks about how the car's working now since getting everything done. <laughs> Smile says it all. So I got a little bit more information about that uh, commemorative Viper. Uh, we went for a drive in it after. He didn't want me to take a video of it. Just uh, his personal, he didn't want it done, so I didn't do it. But talk about a good working car. That that car is amazing. We uh, we went for a quick little first, second gear pull down the road, right from where we were at the shop. And <laughs> that car just throws you in the seat. And I couldn't pull myself out of it to even try and touch the dash, anything. It was just so much pull. And I think my Viper pulls a lot, but that thing there was just unreal. And uh, <laughs> I can't wait to get a video for you guys when he has it all out after it's been detailed and everything, which hopefully I'll have one next week uh, when we do Atlantic Nationals here in Moncton, New Brunswick. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Uh, I hope you guys like the video. Like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, if there's anything that you guys want to see, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll try and make it happen. There's a lot of good, we're doing a, a PEI cruise here uh, the 19th of July, where there should be about anywhere between 25 and probably 40 cars, anything between AMG, C63s, uh, I know there's going to be a couple of Ferraris, a couple of Lamborghinis, uh, quite a few Dodge Vipers, uh, some high horsepower, er, high horsepower Hellcats, uh, my buddy Mike's, uh, Supercharged Challenger, uh, just be a good, be a good run for everyone to see so if there's anything else that you guys want to see just let me know we'll try and make it happen anyways like subscribe we'll have another one shortly